Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about forms and events with TypeScript. So on my right side, you can see the um, code we will start with. And this is the actual code we used in the React Fundamentals forms uh, video. And it, it simply allows the user to create a um, post. So let's have a quick run through. So right here, we have some default form uh, data. Then we have our app component which has a use state hook that uses form data. It destructures the title and body from form data. And then we have uh, an on change and an on submit event. And on submit, we will simply console lock the current state of form data. And right here we have our actual um, form. So you will see it has some labels, some inputs, on change events bind to the title and body, and then Last but not least, we have the button with a type of submit to actually upload the post. And as you can already see, we have an error because if I go to my application now, you will see that it says parameter E implicitly has an any type. And you can see when I go and hover over E, it indeed says that uh, the type is any. And that's something TypeScript doesn't like. Uh, and for good reasons. So what we're going to do, we're going to rewrite this component to make sure that it works with TypeScript as well. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the event uh, doesn't have an any type anymore, but has like an explicit type we set. So in order to do this, let's take a look right here at the on change event, because this is actually a shorthand for doing something like this, like, um, or is it not working? There we go. So we have on change. And so it takes the event, the change event, and then passes it onto the on change function as an argument. Now, if I hover over the event, you will see it give us the type of the event, which seems to be a react change event HTML input element. So what I can simply do is I can copy that type and I can go right up here and simply paste the type and you'll see the error is gone. And now I can remove this as well and just use on change. So if I save this, you'll see we got another error, uh, which is the uh, let's take a look right here. It's the unsubmit event and we can pretty much do the same right here. So here we have our unsubmit and this is essentially um, passing the event to the unsubmit function. And right here we have our type, So I can copy that. And now I can paste it right here. And now you'll see whenever I save the app, or save the file and refresh my page right here, you will see that the app will be working as expected. So yeah, there's not much more to tell about um, forms and events, but I think uh, the main takeaway from this video is that whenever you don't know what, uh, let's say a type is, just simply hover over things, right? You will always see what the type uh, actually is and that uh, gives you a lot of useful information. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.